Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Tencent has released a new version of their Hanyuan 3D model. Previously, we covered this Hanyuan 3D 1 and 2 models on the channel and both of them were of very very good quality when it comes to 3D image generation from either text or from images. Now what happens in this new version of Hanjuan 3D2 model is that it is a fine tuned version of the previous one and this is what you do with it. You simply select the front, back and left of an image and then you can generate a 3D shape. So you just click on gen shape and it creates a 3D shape for you. Let's wait for it. And this is the shape which you generate in 3D. You can move it around and then you can play with it from different angles. So in this video, we are going to install this Hanyuan 3D 2MV model and we will see how it works. Before that, let's have a quick look at what exactly this model is. So the Hanyuan 3D 2 model is an advanced large scale 3D synthesis system capable of generating high resolution textured 3D assets. It consists of two primary components, Hanjuan 3D Diffusion Transformer, which is a shape generation model that creates geometry aligned with a given condition image, and then Hanjuan 3D Paint, which is a textured synthesis model that produces high resolution, vibrant texture maps for generated or handcrafted meshes. And that is the key of success of this model as we already have seen it in these two previous videos on the channel. Now this new model which we are going to install today is a fine tuned version from Hanyuan 3D2 to support multi-view controlled shape generation. So let's get started and install it. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And now let's git clone the repo. And I will also drop the link to it in video's description. And that is done. Now next step which we need to do is to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And this is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to get installed. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Now the primary repo is installed. Now we need to install two components here. The first component is called as custom rasterizer which we, they have already provided in their repo. A custom rasterizer is a tailored rendering engine that converts 3D models into 2D images that allows for customized rendering techniques. So let's go to in this directory. And from here you need to run this setup install command. And that is done. Let's go back to the root of the repo. And now we need to install the second component. The second component which we are going to install here is it is called as differentiable renderer. Now this component, the differentiable renderer, again it is a rendering engine that computes gradients of rendered images with respect to 3D scenes parameters that enables optimization and learning based rendering techniques. So once you are in that directory, simply again run this setup install command. And now it has installed that engine too. Let's go back to our previous directory to the root of the repo I mean and then from there all you need to do is to run this app.py and that is going to start the local gradio demo for you and the first time when you run it it is going to download the model 
so let's wait for it and there you go it is running locally on our system at port 7860 so let me access it in the browser and there you go it is running um, on our own single gpu so in order to run it you can either upload your own images which should be front back left and right or you can you could select your uh, their example so let me first start by selecting one of the examples so i'm just going to select maybe this third one and there you go it has generated this image let me make it a bit smaller here there you go so you see it looks much much better really good stuff so and you can move it around as i said earlier then you can also move like this up and down and then move it around just to check everything just in a 3d space let's try out one more example so i just clicked on this let's check it out and i will also let it run so that you could also see the speed very quick on our local system perfectly aligned from every angle real good stuff and if i show you the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming just close to 13 gig of vram not bad really for this 3d generation one really good stuff and this is what is the geometrical shape as you can see very very well aligned you can also upload your own images so if you on the left hand side let me click on x and then i'm just going to maybe select one of my own images from here I'll just go with this maybe front dot png or maybe i'll just go with a different one i'll just unselect it so i'm just selecting one of the images from my local system so this is the front and this is the back and this is the left i will just keep these two three you can also upload the right image if you like and then let's click on generate shape let's wait for it it's almost there and there you go so it has generated a very very fine 3d image as you can see real good stuff things have improved a lot look at this and then of course you can zoom it you can zoom it zoom out and zoom in so look um i believe that they have done a fabulous job on this 2mv model which is a new fine-tuned one and already looks awesome i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching